Guru Team, and today I'm going to show you how to create a blog post. Once you're logged into your store admin, on the left hand side, click on blog post under your website. Since there haven't been any blog posts created, click in on the green button, add blog post, and we can create a new one. From here, you'll be able to see each of the fields that you'll need to fill out, starting with the title. The content's really cool because you can add text, links, tables, as well as photos. The added excerpt link is really nice, especially if you have more than one blog post on your page. What this is, you can add a photo or a part of your blog to entice your readers to click on and to read further. Further down, you'll see that you can change the author. I'll change it to me. The category section is for if you have more than one blog. You can create a new category or simply leave it to the one that's already there. The publish date is handy if you want to pass date a blog post. If you change this here to the 20th, it will reorder your blogs and it'll have fit in on the 20th instead. Tags are really nice because this allows your customers to search your blog posts based on the tag. You can add tags that you've already made or you can create a new one. Separate them by, by a comma to create more than one tag at a time. This SEO portion has been left blank because I haven't added a title yet. Let's go up and I'll do a really creative title. Now you'll see that it appears down below. And because I haven't created any content yet, there isn't any page description either. Trust me, I'm sure your blogs will be way more interesting than this one. The visibility is really handy if you're in the middle of working on a blog post, but not quite yet ready to publish it. You can change it to hidden. Once you're all done, click on save and your blog post is ready. If you want to go see your blog post, you can click on the blog post link again. You'll see the title of the blog post that I just made. It's marked as hidden. You'll see the category that it's been posted under, and you'll also see the author, which is myself. If you click on the news category, this is the area that you can actually edit the blog itself. You can change the, new, the title of the blog. The feed burner URL is the spot where your customers can subscribe to your blog and be notified whenever you post something new. The comment section can change depending on whether you want people to be able to add onto your blog. Pending moderation means that you can read the post first and then allow the comment to be posted afterwards. Once you've made all your changes, hit on save and you're good to go. Happy blogging!